junior quarterback Kelly Bryant, the big man on campus from a small town he loves. Third and nine, a little bit of pressure coming off the edge as Bryant is intercepted. Tim Kidd Glass, what a way to start the day for the Wolfpack. Here's Ralph right here. Watch him read the blitz and stop to get a quick throw. But Kelly Bryant threw it where he would have been had there not been pressure. See Jalen Samuel in the shotgun in the Wildcat. And they start with Jalen Samuels, one of the most versatile players in college football, tackled for a loss of one. Cleveland Farrell. A clock in your head, though, against these guys because they really pressure. And here it comes straight up the middle. Finley gets rid of it. Downfield, wide open, into the end zone. Kelvin Harmon. Finley gave them a chance with Keith in his face. Downfield, Harmon on the glory end. Wolfpack up. His number for that reason in this ball game. That is him in motion right there, wearing number 21. And here is Kelly Bryant doing what he does best. Of course, the left ankle injury on October 7th. Bryant too high for Ray Ray. Third and three. Finley. That ball batted and then he catches it himself and that'll bring up a fourth down it was big christian wilkins deflecting that pass aj cole into punt ray ray mcleod that new jersey number is back deep and cole turns this ball over all the way to the 24 and it gives mcleod a chance as he cuts to the inside past midfield and on the go new jersey same old speed ray is all McLeod needed. Second and nine, play action for Finley. And he gets it complete as Myers was crossing midfield. First down, NC State, 16-yard reception. And that's a big part of it. Second and two as he fakes the pitch and then is gobbled up by Cleveland Farrell. That was a play that hurt Clemson last year. This time, Clemson was ready for it. And Farrell just stayed right at home. Third and three, Hines coming around on jet motion, tackled just a half yard short by Trey Lamar. Fourth and one. As they go with Samuels, he's going to need to cut it up, bounces it, can Samuels get there? First down, NC State. They had a muddle huddle for a moment when they came out. Second and four, that was awkward as he tried to collect it, but this isn't. Jalen Samuels cashing the Clemson defense to the 15. Down. This is their bread and butter play, the stretch play, the outside zone. Two tight ends, Samuel, the featured back. Unbalanced line to the right. Play action off of it to the end zone. Flag comes in as Cook was the target. The end is an offensive lineman. Wildcat look with Samuels, the direct snap. Up and reaching in for the touchdown. To reach the ACC championship game. 12 play drive with seven at the end of it. Bryant gets it complete right at that line to make to the always reliable Hunter Renfro. Third and eight for Bryant. Pick up the pressure to the outside. Right at the stick is Deion Kane. What a catch. Great catch. Press coverage. Thank you. Fourth and one. Short of midfield. Bryant, quarterback run. A little extra will do the job. First down, Clemson. And four. Bryant with time on third and four and gets it complete inside the 30 to Deion Kane. Around the football. Second and eight. Downfield to the end zone. There was some tugging yeah. and pulling along the way. And that brings out the flag. It was Mike Stevens in coverage against the speedy Ray Ray McLeod. 
at the 10. There's Bryant straight ahead and in. That's a touchdown, isn't it? The ball crossed the, no the doubt. plane, unless he was bobbling it on the way in. No signal yet. There is that a signal is a down on the field yeah. that it is a touchdown for Clemson. We, of course, will take a peek. Watch where he is in relation to the goal line. I think he was in the end zone and dove, and the ball came out when he hit the ground. There's a touchdown right there. Easy to see. Great balance by Kelly Bryant. Possibly can. We need that kind of chemistry. Second and one. Another completion to Myers for a first down. There should have been a penalty called on Notre Dame that would have wiped it out. Second and four. And muscling his way close to moving the chains there was Gillespie. They're not going to beat themselves. Here's a trick play. Back to Finley. Time to wind up, but nothing's there except for Samuels, or excuse me, Myers, who was involved early on. Well, watch the action. The first handoff, the second handoff. Now he's looking downfield. Clemson has it well covered, and Finley seeing the whole outlet route for a good completion. Myers was lost in all the razzle-dazzle, and now Finley able to escape and get a good chunk here inside the 20 and another first down. He beat Cleveland Farrell surprisingly. Samuel in the shotgun again. And this time he will keep it and straight up the middle inside the 10. It'll be first and goal. Samuels. Tried to spin free and is taken down for a loss of two. They only send four. Caught and scored again for Jay Sam. NC State brings it home again. Oh, we got a fun one here today. ETN just darting up the middle for a first down. Cassidy, what's up? Second and four. Shovel underneath. Another good look from ETN. College football. Watch Arizona's quarterback. Here's Bryant. Patient. Fakes it. Launches it. Downfield. Kane. Pass interference could be coming. Yeah, they're going to get Mike Stevens again for the second time in the ballgame. Kane couldn't corral it. Flag is down all the way back at the 40. He has one catch today. This is a spot they often look to him at. Incomplete. Yeah, Spence puts it through for 14 to start the game. They've really neutralized the pass rush of Clemson. Hines able to get that leverage and get a first down. Now here's something about this running back as a football player. Finley remains perfect to Harmon. Big pass past midfield. Finley's 15 for 15. For this very good Clemson defense. Hines cuts back, breaks a tackle, and another first down for State. He plays angry. That's what the offensive coordinator, Elia Drinkwitz, how he just... 10 3 3 as a track speedster. Option left. Finley keeps correct choice inside the 20. Owen is the running back. Third and 10. Finley incomplete. Couldn't connect with Stefan Lewis. Coverage from Mullen. Pulled it. Don't make your plane reservations or your hotel reservation based on the first one. Thompson with the reception. Put up the big explosive play over top of their heads. Here's Kane wrestled out. Enough for a first down. Of course, Capital One halftime report still to come here. It's a waste of a play here. For and third it leaves down. him a third and one. And now. A flag comes in. Three. As Kane says, look at me. And he does. And he taps and is out. Hold 
of Will Sweeney. Sweeney, coach's son. It never had a chance. Second and ten. Inside wide receiver screen got blown up that time. Jalen Samuels had no chance as they were coming after him. Trey Lamar and company. Four-yard loss. So Daniel also in. Got bent kind of funny at the end of this play. Had to go up in the air and then just the tackle over the top by Trey Lamar. Kind of an awkward position there for Jalen Samuels at the end of that play. On the inside and Wilkins and then Farrell on the outside. Third and 14. Finley. Myers. Did he haul it in? Yes. What a play Gosh. by Jacoby Myers. Guard in for Clemson right now in the last two plays. Third and four. They're getting after him, but he gets rid of it. Richard first down from Bryan and a whole lot more. Herschel Walker's nephew with a big play. Mayfield over 300 yards passing and three passing touchdowns already today. Tripped up at midfield by Bradley Chubb. Bradley Chubb in a stand-up position. They tried to cut block him. Third and five. Quarterback run. Can't get there. D.J. Hill towards the sideline. Finley. He does just that, but it's incomplete. And Clemson brought out the orange shoes against NC State. Bryant on third and four. Incomplete. Content to play field position right here. He was trying to find Samuels on a wheel route. Well, and it'll be fourth down. Defenses do it all the time. Third and six. Pressure on Bryant. Backing up. Staying alive. Gets rid of it. Complete wow. for a first down. Deion Kane. Here comes the pressure. They brought an extra man. It was a safety blitz. Tim Kitt Glass is the guy that forced Bryant out of the pocket. Second and five. Bryant. Quick out and into the hands of Kane. We'll have another first down at the 20-yard line. I started the game. Brian on second and five. Looking to bounce it. Gets to the corner. Has the first down. And it'll be first and goal, Tigers. Block Bradley Chubb, number 50. Gets him inside, and then Kelly Bryan is able to elude the safety. Only three catches for 17 yards today. The fade. The score. Great effort from Kane. And Clemson is back on top. Which gives him a lot of field to separate from the defender to the outside. Working on Jonathan Alston. That's just too much room out there. The narrow split gave Kane a lot of field. And Kelly Bryant hit him with the football. Progressive pylon cam. With a great look at that. Remember had a quick kick punt to do that. Second and seven now as they go with the option the RPO with the third part being Myers But he has tackled that time by Carter. That is a loss of one Two-man rush Finley with time again and with the completion and keeping his balance is Myers Weaving his way out past the 40 it's a zone defense, and Ryan Finley still finds an open receiver in a hole and then a missed tackle. Snap now on third and two as Finley splits out. Samuels not going to get it. Maybe a half yard. Cleveland Farrell with a really nice play defensively. Story, go to ESPN.com and realize what a great piece of American history that is. Feaster breaking free. They're going to have to track him down. Tavian Feaster. Presented by K Jewelers will continue after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Calm down to really get a breath. I mean, he is one of the great characters in the game. Second and seven. Finley. Strike over the middle is complete to Harmon, and he's free. Kelvin Harmon inside the 20, carrying defenders with him. What a play by Harmon. All the penalty on. But a tremendous effort by Harmon after the catch, showing you his strength. Now there's the block right there. That's what added about 15 more yards to the play. 
Block coming right here on Ryan Carter. Stephon Lewis. Longer bodies than they used to. Second and one on the slant complete to Stephon Lewis. And Brent Venables and his get-back coach, Adam Smotherman. Second and seven, fakes the pitch. Finley, nice and easy and into the hands of Myers. Catches this, the biggest so far, to close into it against the fourth-ranked team. ETN isn't going to get there. I don't think he even got back to the line of scrimmage. Fernandez with the tackle. Times the snap. He's unblocked. Actually, it was Jermaine Pratt who came on the blitz. Perfect timing by the North Carolina State linebacker. Yeah. And now they start this drive with 10 minutes to play. Pressure, and he goes down. Cleveland Farrell. Big-time NFL prospect with all that speed was coming after Ryan Finley. First sack that NC State has allowed in ACC play. 157 dropbacks. That's the oh first boy. one. Intercepted by Carter. Ryan Carter comes up huge. Eyes at the bottom of the screen. His eyes are going to go to the quarterback, and he beats the receiver, Stephon Lewis, to the spot. They've run a lot of slants, and Ryan Carter. Third and five. A-gap pressure, both sides of it. Diving effort from McLeod can't go, so it will be fourth down. He has been shut out without a catch in his second half. Fourth down for Clemson. Renfro's got it. What an effort. Sprints free. In motion to kind of read the coverage, and then the timing on the out route. Perfect timing by Brian. Then you see, this is a guy that came to school weighing 150 pounds. He's put on about 30 pounds, and he showed the butt up here on this third and goal play. Brian again. Touchdown with a stiff arm to put a mark on it. He's recovered from the ankle injury. Quarterback counter. Let him read it and let him keep the football. Got rid of Jonathan Alston. To beat out five-star recruits, and he's done it to be the royalty they deserve. Here's Finley on second and nine. He's going to talk, pick up a block, and he'll have the first down for NC State. Here in the second half. They'll run the ball with Gillespie. He gets a good hole, and Reggie Gillespie offers something to midfield. Action. He was the breakout player of college football last year as a freshman. And he missed Second and 11 throw is complete for a first down to Lewis. Lawrence missed some time last week in the win against Georgia Tech. Finley looks left and gets it complete to Lewis again, who will have another first down for the Wolfpack. Now, four defensive backs, three linebackers. Here's Gillespie on second and two. Inside the 10, it'll be first and goal, Wolfpack. The line here after the first down. Here's the boot. Cleveland Farrell chasing. Oh, no boy. option left for Ryan Finley. Really nice play by Farrell. Third and goal. Pumps. And it checks down. Gillespie lowers the shoulder and tries to get as much as he could to the four-yard line. The potential game-winning field goal against Clemson last year. And how about that? Territory probably for them. Kelly Bryant stacked up again. Fernandez and the rest did it. Until they reset the chains. Finley on third and two. Batted. That was batted by Lamar. Finley. Can he get to the corner? First down, NC State. And a penalty flag comes in at the end. Play by Finley. Play on. New set of downs. Gets out of the pocket. Runs away from Austin Bryant. Here's the hit at the end of the play. Finley. Big throw and catch to Harmon. And he gets out. 18-yard reception.
interception. Yards away from a little magic. Finley with time again. Same direction, same result. Kelvin Harmon. He's working on Ray Ray McLeod, who is now playing. He's down in the slot. He's playing the nickel right here. Third and ten. Finley wants it all. Incomplete. Big collision. Finley, clock running down. Intercepted to close the show. Kayvon Wallace again. And he's still going. Wallace finally out with double zeros on the clock. Steps up in the pocket. It's a three-man rush. Eight dropping into coverage. He needs 15. The ball just sails on him a little bit. 15 yards needed is so much different than 10. And that one sailed. And Kayvon Wallace.